Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. I am, I'm on another plane. My my brain. I I haven't taken an edible. I'm not on LSD. It's just that my brain is in another dimension, in another time. My brain is in 1807, trying to piece together the events of 60 crew members, and their fates upon the lost at sea ship, the Obra Dinn, which has returned. For some reason, Henry Evans wants me to find out what happened. Oh, buddy, my brain's going a million miles a minute. Welcome to uh, episode five of our blind playthrough of this lovely game. Is this what you all felt like playing this game for the first time? Um, in the last episode, we pieced together all, we found all of the bodies of part nine, uh, escape. Did we piece anything together? I, I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, so. Here is kind of where we're at. I believe I have discovered the bosun dead here. Two mutineers. Uh, a person about uh, listening in. Um, who ends up getting stabbed and dies. Um, yeah, and we're at, and and we're and up on top we have a fleeing, uh, the the last lifeboat fleeing, and someone trying to stop them. And, uh, and someone trying to help them. The captain is saying, chill out, chill out. Uh, the most recent things we have figured out, or that I believe we've figured out, are first mate, first mate steward Paul. This guy we think is Paul because he travels with the steward almost everywhere. We'll double check that in a lot of memories, but we think that's the case. Possible this is Paul. Um, <laughs> no idea who this guy is. Yeah, uh, that's where we're at so far. We're going to try. I think what we're going to start with today is just piecing together is, is revisiting each of the parts of chapter nine in order. Now that we know what happens later in them. My go to uh, strategy so far in the game, and it seems like the game kind of helps you with this strategy is work backwards to work forwards. We start with part six in this chapter. We go all the way to part one, and then we can work back forwards and see what we've learned. By the time, ideally, by the time we re-encounter part six, we know a lot of information we didn't know the first time. It's a cool way to solve puzzles. Uh, the cook was killed. We've exited that uh, memory. Part three would be this man. So let's see this memory. <laughs> Who yells, let them go? Okay. So who yells, let them go in that situation? It seems like there's almost a, a physical struggle, which could be this guy dies and then you're trying to do something here. This guy looks like he's trying to unhook the, uh, the rope or something that is letting them go. It could be William Hoskell who yells, let them go. Could be. Uh, we don't know who you are. My guess currently just based on the location is that you are one of uh, your, your location in the Life at Sea uh, sketch is that you are one of the sort of without title um Seaman, either like midship, maybe midshipman, maybe topman, maybe just seaman. Um, we're not really sure. Um, yeah, I didn't hear a particularly uh, a particular accent for this character in the last scene, but I'm not very good at accents, so it's possible there was nothing going on there. Um, this guy doesn't have a, a knife or anything in his hand or or whatever, so who knows what. This is Arm Up Man. Who knows what his plan is? The next question to be thinking about is that during this memory, the mutiny has just been discovered. You, you, and uh, the bosun were in here. Uh, this guy, Pete's mother. Uh, why can't I focus on you? There we go. Was listening in. Uh, and then yelled, and we'll find this in the next episode, or the next part, yelled mutiny and uh, attempted to run. 
Um, so. Let them go. I don't know what there is to learn about this from this part, so I think I'll skip to the next one. Um, we have... This is the... Uh, who I'm who I'm saying is like <laughs> Maybe I have the wrong idea. Hold up. Let's let's look at something. I've been calling the people in hats like that mates. And by that I mean any of these sort of like it's sort of like a tricorn hat except um it might be a, a bicorn hat. I don't know. Like <laughs> captain's faces sideways. First mates faces sideways third mate we're pretty sure about but i don't know that we've actually solved that but we're pretty sure because we have the third mate steward third mates faces forward so then hypothetically captain first third this could be second this could be third or fourth or fourth Second, fourth. We're not really sure. Let's think through that. Davy James from England. Nope, that's the steward. Never mind. Uh, England, England. Edward Nichols and John Davies. Did we correctly guess the um, the third mate steward? We did. So that has been actually confirmed. So I feel pretty confident that this is the third mate. Third mate, I feel I feel pretty confident about. Then this basically leaves. I, I think that all makes sense. That specific kind of hat. It's only on five people. I think that's second or fourth mate. Uh, we don't know who that makes you. You've got. Uh, conductor's hat, which could be hmm could be gunner nope, that's top hat could you be helmsman I don't know. With a hat like that, you feel like you have to have some sort of uh, position, right? Gunner, what is the helmsman again? Rated seaman in control of the ship's wheel and general moment-to-moment -moment navigation. So... <laughs> this is interesting. We're work we're like we're we're basically an archaeologist right now. We're working through like between the picture the pictures and the like behaviors of the people on the ship and the way they re react to each other. We should be able to determine hypothetically or at least be able to guess people's uh overall like rankings. Um hat Bosun, we just watched him die. Um, that's Lars Linda, which is interesting. Um, hat. We, it says we don't know who this is. But. Oh, there's only so many hats left. There's only so many hats left. In the back of my mind this whole time is my fear, which is not really a fear. These are Formosan royalty. So these are the four Formosans. Okay. Wait a second. Okay. That's very good to know. Are these the same two people? No. Um, in the back of my mind is this fear that I am 
banging my head against a wall when the easiest thing to do and the best thing to do would just be to get more stories. But I really like I I really like this process. I am so sorry if it's very painful for you. Um This is a mate. We don't know which one. This is probably conductor's hat is probably Helmsman? Is that what we decided looking at this thing? Uh, uh, Helmsman? I think that's possible. I'm going to select that for now and know that it's very vague. Uh, we'll try, uh, um, you were shot with the gun eventually. Yeah. Okay. We'll try that. The reason we think that the other person is the gunner. Uh, let me quickly explain why I think that is, and then I'll move on to something else, I promise. We're pretty sure this is the gunner because he is sort of in charge of the military operation here. We know that this is a mate. We think that this is a mate. We think that, uh, this, uh, that this is a mate. This guy's got a hat on, but we've discovered that he's a bosun because his mate is a Frenchman, which makes sense based on that dialogue line. That leaves high-ranking official on the boat who would have a hat. My red thread about the hats feels a little crazy, but, you know, uh, who else is going to be wearing a hat on a ship like this? We think bosun. It's possible surgeon. I don't think carpenter. That feels very blue collar. Uh, doesn't feel like cook butcher would do it. We, are, we already covered gunner. Purser, it's possible, but we checked that one off already, and we know that that was the person with the lecture book. Helmsman, I think, makes sense. Um, artist, we know, is dead. We have passengers ship's steward or captain steward could be interesting i don't know a ton about what that exact means and maybe being a steward to the overall ship or the captain is a ranking uh, position in and of itself midshipman topman seaman that's basically it so i feel pretty confident about that all anyways let's piece the story together uh mutineers chase eats mother um <clears throat> i think that's most of what is down here uh, up here, we have, we already covered all of this. So let's go ahead and leave this scene. I think that's part three. Let's go part four. <laughs> uh, so part four would be, God, this is so fun. Part four would be downstairs. We think it's Finley. Dalton or someone. At least. Part four is which one? Is it you or is it the other one? Uh, it would be you. Um, the mate. Mutiny, mutiny. Mutiny! Mutiny! Bastard! Uh-oh. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Uh-oh. Wait a second. This mate and the and the the helmsman and the boat the or and and our unknown person who dies right here and the bosun were all in this room together. Why? Then why here do they die? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Oh no. Unless it's an accident, but why, how? I mean, I, between the last scene and this scene, our person who's missing a head stabs Pete's mother. These people, this is uh, first mate, uh, steward, and first mate. 
hear the mutiny line and start to come down. Um, so what's the deal? Jerry Seinfeld voice. What's the deal with these two? They were in the same room. Hand over. I mean, I can't even really see because it's crazy, but I think that's a pistol. I mean, the, the blowback makes me think it's a pistol. I'm sorry for the gore. So in what way do they disagree that quickly that his hand is on his head, that his gun is just because he stabbed a guy? I don't know. That's a big mystery. Big mystery. And the other problem, too, is that I think in the next ep in the next part, these guys come down, kill someone. Uh, uh, Paul comes down, kills someone, and then goes after the captain. So are you on? Are these two on his side or not on his side? Because currently it looks like they're going down to stop a mutiny. Unless it's the... Should the... Oh, should I be paying attention to the hands on the clock? I don't know if they're different. This guy eventually kills the captain. We really have to figure out who he is. But in this situation, it looks like he's dumping bodies overboard. From, like, one body's gone. It looks like he's dumping bodies overboard, which would be vaguely helpful to the ship. This is so interesting. So what, what possible personal dynamics could have happened between... These two sitting in here agreeing, running out, then he's responsible for his death, and then I'm pretty sure those two come down and kill him. So is it possible that this man, this mate, turned in a second and said no to the mutiny? But we don't see that in the dialogue. This who's there has to be a line about the person out in the in the line, or uh, out in the hallway. It's possible if he is against mutiny. Unknown mate question mark question mark question mark is against mutiny. I'm not. I'm really not sure. He because I I I haven't written down on both sides. Um. Okay. Well, let's leave and figure out what the next... Maybe the next scene will provide some clarity. Where's the uh, exit here? Um, is it down here? Yeah, it's down here. Because after this, the first mate comes down to... Nope, after this is right here. First mate's friend comes down, kills this guy. first mate goes after Peter's mother. Pete's mother. And that's the entirety of the scene. What's all this, you damn fool? You damn fool. That is probably directed at this man who stopped the mutiny people from... Who killed this man after having killed Peter's mother. So that would put Paul and first mate in on mutiny because both in this scene they kill the person who killed a mutineer, a mutineer or whatever, and they kill the captain in the, or they go after the captain in the next scene. However, they're also running after Peter's mother in the next scene and s seeming to put... To, to be kind or helpful to him. It was clubbed by an unknown attacker. We believe that to be Paul.
Finley is killed by the mate, which we don't know which one it is. But all, but we're really getting to some guessing, uh, guessing work here. So it's really, it's really uncertain. Um, if we find out the killer here, we find out the victim here, which is helpful. Because that gets us two things at once. So that's a future... Oh, that's a great thing. In the future, as long as we figure out who this guy is, when we someday come to that, we'll get two pieces... We'll get two opportunities to check. It says we shouldn't even know who Finley is. Uh, and it says we shouldn't know which mate this is. Uh, this guy... That's the next one. Okay. And it says that they're all unknown. So... It's funny. I take this, this, this blurriness with such a grain of salt which is probably a mistake on I, I don't know if it's a mistake on my part but it's uh it's certain, there's there's a lot of ways to play a game it's probably a mistake on my part oh that's an entirely different uh, piece of dialogue so let's go here we're on part four right uh five right now what's all this you damn fool that's the entire line let's get out of here Let's go to part six and see if we've learned anything. He yells, Brennan, grab the surgeon's kit. So is this... Act oh, shit. I've just changed my entire mind. Is the next person actually Brennan? By the next person, I mean uh, the person I'm calling Paul. Is that actually Brennan? That would be the person he's yelling at, right? Unless he's yelling at the other guy who's running down the stairs. Oh, no. You're cut. Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Tell me it's mother. I, I tried my best. Aye. To, to pull him back to save me. You tell her yourself. <laughs> Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. <laughs> Is this arm up guy? Is arm up guy Brennan? Okay, hold up. I think we've discovered some things. Or we're, we're piecing together a little bit more. I don't know if we've discovered anything. <laughs> so this should be first mate from Scotland. We know that part. Pretty, pretty on point. Who's dying? I don't know. I need to check that. Brennan is the last name of... Where is it? Oh, Lord. We saw it at one point. Where is it? Um, Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. Let me scroll slower. Wasn't it last name or was that someone else? Henry Brennan. Do you think that this is Arm Up Man? I don't even know if it will necessarily check that until we ha okay let's let's check here we have one that could be guessed right now we have two that could be guessed right now we have we're very close to a third and we're about to find out whether or not hopefully in this episode we can find out whether or not paul is paul um brennan is Br raised arm man is brennan Okay, so in this scene, there was one other thing I was gonna check. Ach no, that's all will. Uh, uh, that's all first mate talking. Let's check the crew list. While I'm here, let's check Pete. Who would Pete uh, be friends with, hypothetically? Peter Milroy is a midshipman. I think it's likely that this person who died is one of these two. Peter's mother, I'm going to write down midshipman, question mark. The other thing is that I think it's possible that Peter was in a memory in part seven that we have seen being ripped away. And maybe Peter, and maybe our, and maybe, uh, our mystery midshipman was the person who was trying to drag him back. Let's take a look at that here real quick. Um, escape, part six. 
This line, I tried my best to pull him back to save him. That could be, it depends on wh uh, who this character, what, what memories this character is in. So let's go ahead and um, bookmark memories. Um, okay. <clears throat> We're one thing away from a guess, actually. So this person was knifed by not an unknown attacker necessarily, but potentially by Finley uh, Dalton. So let's go ahead and mark this. I think we might get a guess here. Finley Dalton. And if this person is a midshipman, let's let's check out the memories because um because. If we can figure out who they are, then we can get a confirmation or a or a lack of confirmation, which which could be good too. Uh, first appeared in like page eighty six or something. This guy right here. So what memory is this? This is crushed. Okay. He's got his ear to the thing. Is this Brennan? The problem with that is that you have a hat on. Oh man, the danger of a game like this and playing it blind is that I could be so fucking off base. Lordy lordy, could I be off base. Um... This is, uh, who I'm imagining is one of... No, this is who I'm imagining is Paul. And I think it's possible this is just somebody named Brennan. Brennan grabbed the thing. Does that make sense? I think it does. Oh, shit. Paul equals Brennan? Question mark? The first mate. Damn, it's interesting. Because the first mate uh, is always traveling with that guy right there. Which I thought meant it was the first mate's steward. It's possible instead that in this... Since he's always traveling with him, you would think that's exactly who you would yell at for help. Your immediate first thought would be like, Brennan, that's who I was just traveling with. Brennan, grab the thing. Brennan is listening. I think it might be fucking Brennan. Either way, let's exit. Uh, I'm going to try and piece together who the guy who just died is because that will tell us... Where do I exit this scene? That'll tell us a lot. Man, this game's fun. <clears throat> it is a little like Sudoku where you're like... If there's an X, if there's a four here, that means a four can't be here, here, and here. <laughs> I was never very good at Sudoku. Um, the memory that we're looking for now is Doom Part here, Part Five, which is Person Crushed here. Let's check this one. Let's see. Sir, loose cannon. Loose cannon. This guy right here. This is who gets stabbed. Okay, let's track these two in the next uh, scene. That's what we're doing, basically. We're going to attempt to. Uh, uh, that's not where I'm going. How do I get out of here? We're going to try and uh, track those two throughout the next scene and see where they go. I think that's the guy who gets blown up. So Pete would be the guy who uh, um, is like closing up with the... Uh, how do I phrase this? Those two on the stairs, I believe, are the guys who end up running out. And... Uh, 
getting exploded. Yeah. So I think that is Pete. I am going to go to the memory because I would like to try and confirm it. Um, this one. Get to the main bit quick. So the body is like right here. Let me walk you through my hypothesis here. I think those two on the stairs have powder and a lantern. Which means that this is our... Uh, Pete's mother. I tried to pull him back. This is the guy about Pete's mother. That is Pete. Um, so, let's say Pete and see if we get some confirmation. I think that should have done something. Unless, uh, unless I'm incorrect. Killed by unknown. Uh, where, where are we at here? We're at like one, two, three. Is it because they're, <laughs> is it because they're wrong or because they are? Uh, blurry. Okay. The game gets harder and we have we've gotten there. Let's go here. I think that's Peter exploded. I feel pretty confident about that one. The game says that I should know how to do that one. Um We get to Oh, Lord, where is it? Um, that's the mate who... Mate kills Finley Dalton, then mate gets killed by who I'm calling Paul, but is probably, actually, um, Grinnin. Uh, oh, I didn't mark this guy. So if it's Peter, who... Oh my lord, my brain. If it's Peter who gets uh, exploded, would it be another midshipman? One of these two, Thomas or Charles? My brain hurts. In this memory. <laughs> in this memory we have explosion memory right what is the dialogue get to the main bit quick hold on hold on throw it throw the powder peter says throw the powder okay Um, that's my reading of this situation, but man, my readings could be so wrong in every single one of these. Let's go back to the uh, main world. Let's see the next memory and see if we can piece this together. So that's here. Um, Peter is blasted by an explosion. We're pretty sure about that. Our friend is also in this memory. Which is like over here. Let's go into it. Uh, explosion would have been. I think it's this guy. I think he's now sitting here. Explosion was right there. This is Pete. Nope, that's the first. That's one of the mates. This is the guy who eventually kills. Uh, 
Is it here? It's here. So he's sad about Peter. Okay. That memory I'm cool with. Okay. Um... Bargain is empty. Uh, let's think here. Then we get escape part one. Put me down. Let me go. And this scene, the character is walking up from the from below. All right, let's get out of here. I'm making myself go a little crazy trying to figure this out. I think it's a bad scene that we did. A bad thing that we. A bad sign that we didn't get. Um, confirmation. Because uh, we should, right, have Paul Moss knifed by, uh, although I think this might actually be Brennan. <laughs> Let's try that. So one of the things that I am convinced I have wrong, or I think might be wrong, this character who I'm calling Paul Moss because he traveled with the first mate might actually have been um, Brennan. Because in that scene where the guy is dying, they yell for Brennan. So is it crossed off if I've already selected the name somewhere else? Or is it crossed off if... That's a rhetorical question. Um... This guy, I was saying this guy was Brennan, but we don't know that for a fact now. Uh, oh, buddy. So then we want to go to um, escape. And if we change one piece, it changes all of the other pieces too. Uh, Finley was shot by an unknown attacker. This guy was killed by not Paul Moss, but Brennan, we believe. The thing is that we don't know which unknown soul it was. But we have a good guess. And then this guy is Peter's friend. Could be a couple people. Um, I kind of want to guess a midshipman. Oh, it's interesting that we have an unknown midshipman. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Tell Pete's mother I try my best. Tell her yourself. Bring the surgeon's kit. It's the midshipman. Ah, oh, it's the midshipman location of the corpse. 100%. Do we... Here's the thing. Do we try... Pete's mother is a midshipman. I'm not going to try just randomly guessing it because I don't want to. I know I have done that a little bit already. I think for now I'm cool without doing it. Um, Emily Jackson met an unknown fate. I think it's possible during escape that they did escape. Um, alive in places? Holy shit. Alive in multiple places? Oh, Lord. Oh, my brain hurts, which probably means it's just a t time to try a new, uh, to try a new chapter. Or a new, yeah, a new chapter. Oh, I need a drink. Okay. Just to restate where we're at right now. Paul V. Brennan is confusing and unknown. Pete's mother, man, is a midshipman. We're pretty sure. Not entirely sure. The two mates uh, that are uh, up in the air, I'm unsure about. The um, the hat wearers, we're also a little bit unsure about. I think we have them narrowed down pretty well. And I think we might be right about who Finley Dalton is and who uh, Christian Wolf is and all of that. 
But we're going to get more info in Alfred Clestel. We're going to get more information in other chapters, so we should just move on. That's that's my that's my thought for now. Uh, let's go down to the next deck. I'm guessing we'll find a body down here somewhere. We also have all of these rooms we haven't actually been into. Okay. Owls and such, looks like. A room. Someone lives. We could actually just check it out on the uh, map, I'm sure. Oh. <gasps> we can look in windows. That's cool. These look like... Hello, we found a body. They look like bunks. Uh, but I don't have to guess at that. I can just... Uh... We're currently on the Orlap deck. So this is surgery. So here, the body we found is in like the third crew stall over or something like that. So surgery in here. Bunk, bunk. Uh... That's a fucking... <laughs> what? Oh, a surprise. That's a... Pets are here. One swing. Get true to skull in stone or brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. I'll cut her throat. Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. <laughs> <laughs> You all right there, sir? But <laughs> never been on a farm, Chuck. Charlie. Put your shoes now. So, Charlie is one of the midshipmen. Is this? Are we about to find out, Charlie? Um, that's fantastic news. Is this you? Are you Charlie? Is that him? Uh, I don't know that it is. Oh my God, I have so many things to say. Uh, apron first off. Um, that's Charlie. No. Is that Charlie and then this is the other one? That's Charlie. Oh, this is a fun one. This one's less dark as well. Lots of people over here. The hell? Who's got a monkey? This guy, okay. I said that body. Oh, maybe not dead. Who's holding the foot? You have a hat on. That's interesting. We have a new contender in the hat category. Okay. Oh, there's all kinds of people down here. Oh, buddy. All right. What chapter is this? Seems early. Four? Three? Two. A bitter cold. I have to say, I have been on a... Uh... My uh, stepfather... Uh, who is no longer with us, but uh, who basically was my father, uh, would uh, butcher pigs for um, for hog roasts. And he would like the whole process, like butchering a pig all the way to um, like he'd, he'd roast the actual hog. Um, and so I went with him a couple times uh, to do that. And I was Charlie in that situation. <laughs> I didn't actually do anything. I mostly stood there and held stuff, and I didn't like it. Take him to the carpenters, get him wrapped, and see to the last rites. That seems like... Now, this is interesting. That seems like one conversation happening on the stairs. This one seems like the conversation uh, at the actual scene. Here, yeah, come on before she kicks up. You all right there, sir? Never been on a farm, Charlie. Mind your shoes now. Although, it says carpenter shop is here. So, the part about the last rites makes me think we're talking that person in the uh, in being held. Um, I don't know that you do last rites for... Uh, it says take him to the carpenters, get him wrapped, see to the last rites. I think that's that dead body off to the side. Um, God, a whole lot of people were involved here, including uh, the two, Formos two of the Formosans. We saw them standing off to the side. Um... Large cow was slaughtered for its meat. So I think that puts us at 
So Formosan, Formosan, for sure. Um, we don't know which ones yet. Pig. Where's our where's our little goat friend? Chicken. Zoom in. No? Okay. Uh this one's gotta be Charlie. Let's figure that out right now. Charlie the midshipman is my guess. Now where now which picture was it? <laughs> It'd be right underneath the arch. It was like here? I think that's Charlie. I'll double check this here in a second. But um We and and by that we think we mean Charlie the midshipman, because there are there's two Charles at least. We think that's you. These are all four dark, meaning we think we know who this guy is now. Meaning, isn't that who we just were trying to find in chapter seven? Uh, it's not chapter seven, it's chapter nine. I mean, I think we can guess it then. This is a deduction rating. Ah, oh, there is an answer to what those are. Okay. A higher rating means it would be more difficult to deduce this person's identity. As in three things would be pretty difficult. Focus on the easily deduced identities first. Leave the more difficult ones for later. I very much appreciate that hint. I'm so sorry it's taken me five, five episodes to get there. Uh, you say that, but I think this is the midshipman we haven't accounted for. Not unknown, but Thomas. Yikes. <laughs> I keep waiting for I keep waiting for confirmation and I keep not necessarily getting it. Okay. Um So, let's go back to chapter 2. There are how many parts? Only three. Only three here. <clears throat> if I hover over any of these. No. We're pretty sure that's the butcher though. So let's let's go back into the scene. So we have you. We have you in the actual thing. And it says in the dialogue, it says I'll cut her oh, it does all cut her throat when you've done it. Hmm. So the person cutting there, I was guessing was the actual butcher, but in t uh, butcher, but it turns out that instead I think that's Thomas. Um. We said this was the butcher, and I don't know that it is. I think this is the butcher. Oh, buddy, that's interesting. Okay. Um, so Peter is this guy, we think, who explodes. Um, we think that's uh, Peter's... No, sorry. We think that's Peter's friend. I'm guessing that this is the actual... Um, Go here, um, go here. Deduction of two, which is not terrible. I think that's the actual butcher. Which means, who's the other person in the... Unless it's the surgeon, which could be possible. Let's say butcher here. Oh, is the accent Irish? Oh, I'm so bad with accents. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Hit her here. I can't really exit and come back, so we'll see. Um, uh, butcher equals question mark there? I don't know. Lord. Whew. We have a new, a new dead body, which I think we're going to go right here, here in a second. Um, 
Who the hell are you? Why do you have a monkey? It's probably just a member of the crew, but you look very fancy. That's surgery, which is where they're taking this guy out of. So do we think you're the surgeon? All right, let's go to the next memory. Shit, I don't remember. Oh, no, I have to hit the button. <laughs> Forgot. Um... Man, this game's incredible. I'm kind of glad I'm not breezing through it. Uh, and by that, I mean I'm, I'm pretty glad I'm not like utterly confident in every choice I make. Because I think that's more satisfying in the long run. And it's certainly... Well, same as the other fellow. Some lung disease. Okay. Not consumption. Made worse by the cold. Will it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Lasker house. Lasker house. I checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And him? <laughs> what are his chances? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. Laudanum. <laughs> Not good. Is this, uh, uh huh? This is third mate. We believe, right? Third mate? Um, checking on the crew base. Oh, I'm in the wrong page. Shit, that, that explains it. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, we don't know what page we're on yet. That's right, okay, duh. I keep forgetting that the page doesn't get filled in until later. So I think we have surgeon, third mate, dead crew member. Uh, so we'll fill in uh, lung disease or whatever there. Uh, potentially helps the surgeon. I don't know what our list of people there is. Um, another dead body. This is the guy in the hat. Um, these two are lifting uh, people out of here. Formosans. Butchering is happening right there, right beside these dead bodies. And the coughing people, which is probably not great news. But is there anything all the way over here? The guy kicked up is probably an assistant to the surgeon, right? The two talking are facing each other directly. Assistant to the surgeon? Hmm. Part two. Corpse was moved, moved post-mortem. This is third mate, right? Martin Perot. Which, which uh, at least we believe. Who is this? How do they die? We don't know, but we do know. Unknown fate would be disease, right? Um, illness. Unless there's something else that makes more sense, but I think illness is the thing that... Yeah, okay. Same as the other body out there. So, before we do anything, we need to go here. That is underneath doorway with Ascot. We need to go here. Um, you are 100% surgeon. Other person in this scene, which I think is the guy dancing, but I need to double check. You, uh, ah, oh, I hit the wrong button, fuck. <laughs> Shit! That's surgeon's mate, but we just don't know exactly which body it is just yet. Okay, really quickly, let me re-enter this memory just so I can figure it out, and then I'll come right back. This one we already know. 
but it's here. Is the guy dancing, right? Dancing, so you are not the butcher. Aha! You're not the butcher. You are instead the surgeon's mate, which is how we were wrong about the um uh the apron. Oh man, this is so much fun. Okay. Which means that you are the butcher. Because we just found that too. Unless you're the carpenter, but we're pretty sure you're the butcher. Okay. We'll get about all that. We'll exit. We'll come back to that third body. We'll get the third scene of this chapter. The, fi the final first part of this chapter. Um. This is a great chapter. This is quick answers. <laughs> All oh, that breathing. Oh. How many friends did we have on the uh, the ship? Three. Or, uh, how many Russians do we have on the ship? Russian friends. Three. They got a lot of people. Yeah, everyone would get sick in a in a ship like this if they were. Uh, <laughs> if one of them was sick, Are you kidding me? Got some poker. They're looking over. How many people were present? <laughs> a million sleeping. So Sied must be here. Which means our friends care. Our one of our friends carrying Sied. Uh, uh, Sied later. Probably both. Are oh, the other two Russians? moments like this that remind you that in the story of this game each of these are individuals with their own reasons for coming on the ship and their own their own individual tragedies abo aboard the ship stop your cheating worry about yourself oh my god i said russian i'm dumb this is two different languages the russians are playing cards i'm dumb wow that's not what's happening. Uh-uh. Okay. Um, this person is Sied, uh, but um, that's probably um, Solomon Sied from India, I understand. I'm an idiot. I think it's Solomon Sied from Illness, but which three were correct? Oh, Lord. Okay. Solomon... Peter and did we get Peter's friend uh, uh, and Brennan so okay um that gives us a lot of information Now let's see if I can correctly translate it into other information. <laughs> see Ed. Um, okay, you have a hat. My guess would be you two are two of the other Indian crewmen on the ship. Who are you? I don't know. Um... Let's go to the chapter correctly, real quick. 22 others are present. Jesus Christ. Crushed by the beast, this person was. Meaning, so we have Sied. We have illness. In the in the part right after this one. And then we have two friends who I believe are the ones who carry in this part. Yes. 
They lost both of their friends. Deduction level is not hard here, but I still don't know that I could do it. This guy was crushed by a terrible beast eventually in part seven. And I can tell you that he's one of four, one of three, but I can't tell you which one. Um, okay. We know that you three are the, or we, we believe, I believe that you three are the Russians. Stop cheating. Um, let's take a look here. It is that game. Oh, and you are the person who killed man who is trying to stop the people or help the people getting on the boat you are i doubt rush Ooh, are you rushing okay in that case never mind i thought the i thought this drawing right here it's at least two oh my head hurts okay so i believe we have three russians on board assuming the three of them hang out constantly Leonid, Alarkis, and Alexi. I would have assumed that these three... I would have assumed that... Uh, these three are all Russian. They might be. These two are playing together. Shot by gun by E. Jackson. That's right after the boat falls. So probably Russian. And then... I think it's the second gunman. Um is also one of the three Russians. Okay. So we've got that. We don't have... So we could guess here, and I don't know if the game is encouraging us to or not. Here's my question. Can I focus on these people? It says in this scene that 22 others are present. <laughs> so can I focus on these people to get them to appear? Doesn't look like it. So where is everyone else at? I mean, they're here. They're just not actually showing up on the map, on the uh, image. Okay. <clears throat> well. The other thing we have to do after we confirmed a couple pieces of information is go back and uh, change things around real quick. So in the nine, in, in chapter nine, I had Brennan and Paul as two sides of the same coin. Finley Dalton is killed by first mate. Brennan is the correct answer, right? First, uh, uh, by, when I say first mate, I mean either second or fourth mate. <laughs> second or fourth mate is either killed by, um, is killed by Brennan. Um, Thomas. Yeah, Brennan is that guy. Thomas, Brent to Peter <laughs> to Peter and Peter's mother, dies there. Um, Evans was on board the ship. Interesting. Did not piece that together. So, I think that again, I think there's a really one way to play the game right now would be to guess on a bunch of these. And we could pretty well guess, I think. 
Um, we don't know the answer to how that guy died. We do know that this was this guy was attacked by one of the three Russians. Pretty sure we could just click it until we got it. Probably. But we would need two other guesses at the same time. This guy is the unknown Russian. So if we switch those two in, if we switch this and this in concert, we'd get it eventually. However, and then we could guess the, the, the mate here. We could just cycle through the different, the two options for mates. So there'd be two options here, three options for these. We could, um, I'm going to write those down, but I'm not going to do it in this episode because the game doesn't think that I should know who this is. The game doesn't think I should know who this is. Um, and I, so 113, 115 uh, are grouped. Mate, uh, second, or fourth. Then 109 and 111 uh, are grouped. Uh, for Russian, one of three, I believe that's correct. We're not going to guess it right now, like I was just saying, because I think uh, I could, but I don't want to necessarily just brute force it when I think there's a... Uh, there might also just be good... Uh, this guy might be good information coming. Either way, I'm going to have to call it an episode right there. Uh, we'll piece things together again in the next episode. Thanks for being here while I ramble and convince myself of something that's incorrect and then uh, have to change three deaths. I have to change my mind and so on and so forth. Three deaths, which is crazy because the cow doesn't die here. <laughs> Does the cow count? I don't know. Um... My notes are going to start looking insane for this game. I'll tell you that much. Either way, thanks so much for watching. If I'm frustrating you, I apologize profusely. I'm just out here doing my best. <laughs> oh, but I can't wait to see how we actually answer some of these questions. Um, thanks for watching. I'll go film another episode so that you can watch another one tomorrow at 9 a.m. Uh, until then, I hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for tuning in for this hour, uh, hour of puzzling, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.